this morning. All right, and there's some things we can see here that we might be talking about. Well, there are a lot of different creatures. Can you see okay there? Okay. That live in lakes and streams, or maybe near them, you might see. A frog, you might see a frog, or you might see a turtle. A turtle. Or maybe if you were out on the ocean, you might see a shark. A shark, great. But for most people, for most people, the creature that they think of that lives in the water is a fish. Right. And right behind me, I have a little stream with some fish in it. Lots of different fish. All right. Does anybody know someone who likes to fish? <laughs> yeah. I like to fish. That's my next question. Do you like to fish? Yeah. All right. Have you ever caught a fish? How many fish have you ever caught? My dad caught a fish. Oh. <laughs> I caught a lot of fish at the lake. Okay, but let's let Max answer, and then we'll go along, and you can all catch. Oh, wonderful. Max, how many did you catch? Yeah. <laughs> so you caught a fish at the lake, Connor? You have your dad has that one? Yeah. And Julia, have you caught one or you know people that have caught? I caught a lot. You of you have caught a lot? Wonderful. Okay. Why why do people go fishing? I got so lots. So they can eat. I got lots, but I Is it fun? Yeah. Yeah. Is it fun? Is it relaxing? Yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Right. Well, the Bible has a lot to say about fishing. And the first disciples that Jesus became friends with were fishermen. Fishers but you, yes, yes, we're getting to that. You're right. But they didn't fish for fun or just to relax. Maybe they did kind of enjoy it. But they fished because that's how they ate and that's how they made money, right? Because then they sold the fish. So do you think they cared whether they caught any fish or not? Yes, they definitely did because... They needed to make a living. So in Luke chapter 5, you can look that up later, Jesus was preaching on the shore beside the Sea of Galilee. And there was this huge crowd of people gathered around him. And they kept pressing closer and closer so that they could hear him better. They kind of kept pushing him closer and closer to the lake. And so Jesus noticed these two empty boats. They don't look empty. Well, then they were empty. Good point. And then, and then the disciples went in. And so he, when, when Jesus noticed them, they were empty. I tried to find a picture of empty boats, and I could not find it. So the fishermen were washing their nets, which is how they caught fish back in Jesus' time. And so Jesus stepped into one of the boats, and he asked Simon, who was the boat's owner, to move out a little further from the shore and then Jesus just sat right there in the boat and he preached to the people from there because they were get, crowding him so close that he he just didn't have room anymore so then when he was out in the boat on the lake you know he could he, people weren't pressing in on him and then everybody could hear it so then when Jesus finished his teaching he said to Simon Move out into the deep water and let down your nets to catch some fish. And that's how people fish in Bible days. And I've got a net here. They use big nets, of course, much, much, much bigger than this. And they put them down into the water like that. And then they would have, you know, men on that side and men on that side. And lift them up and hopefully what would be in them? Fish, right. Well, Simon answered Jesus when Jesus said that to him. He said, we fished all night without catching a thing. But if you say so, if you say so, I will let down my nets again. So they let down the net just like this, down into the water. And when they brought the nets up, do you think they were empty? No. 
partners brought in another boat and the boats were full of fish that they almost sank. And so then when Simon saw what Jesus did, he fell on his knees before Jesus and Jesus said to him, there is nothing to fear because from now on you will be fishing for just what, what Matt said, fishing for people, fishing for men, but men and women and children. So when they reached the shore, they pulled their boats up on the beach. They left these nets. They left their boats. And what, did they, what do you think they did? They followed. they followed Jesus just like that, without hesitation. So what does it mean when Jesus says you're going to be fishing for people instead? What does that mean? I don't know. You don't know. Anybody have an idea? Okay, thanks. Getting more people to praise God, right. I mean, are we, I shouldn't put my neck away so fast, if we're going to fish for people, are we going to go throw a net over them? <laughs> throw a net over Leah? Are we going to throw a net over them? No. What he meant that we, just like they've been bringing fish into the boats, that now, just like Matt said, bringing people to trust and follow Jesus and to praise God, as Max said. So Jesus wants each one of you, each one of you, to be fishers of people too. And we need to tell people we meet about Jesus so that they can know him and they can be his followers too. So now, back to these fish back here. The most common way for people to fish nowadays is with a fishing pole. We have two fishing poles here. And I have some helpers that are going to come. Maybe I will just let Philip do one. We're going to have two lines. So each of you, but before we get to it, each, I'll hand you the two poles. These were made by Philip. Each of you gets to catch one fish to take with you. Okay? Then after the worship <coughs> service, then you can go see Denise to get your fishing pole because we think it might not be smart to have the fishing pole during the service. During the service. So you will get the fishing pole. So let's have, let's finish up by each of you, I'll get this out of the way, and we'll have several of you can line up on this side with Philip. And so we let, let's have Leah. Well, yeah, there you go. See, he's ready. Leah, you want to come over there? You want to stand right there? Yeah, so just kind of. You're just going to take it off the fish? Whichever one you catch. Yes, you can get my first card. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just going to sit here and see how you can pick it up. Pick it up here. Try towards the mouth when you're fishing. All right, please call her fish. And once you get your fish, you can go back and sit in your seat. There you go. And it's got a Bible verse on it for you, too. All right. After, after worship, then you can get your fishing pole. He's a fishing expert. He knows how to do this. But remember, that's your reminder to be fishers for people and to invite other people to learn about Jesus. Nobody wants to go back and sit down. They all want to sit. Okay. So let's get up. Okay. There you go. Go ahead. Thank you. Almost done. Okay. Ellen's got kissy fishy. Good. Connor's got kissy. All right. Okay, take your fish, Connor. Do you want me to get that off the shoulder? Well, we'll pick her cutting. 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 That one? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. Thank you to my helpers.